Let's go into the basics of what keyframes are, what they do, and how you edit them. Back in the days of cartooning, a person drew something like a character. They draw the character standing up, then down the road later in time, they show the person maybe bending over or something. So you have the beginning where the person's standing up, then down in time we have the end where the person is bending over. These two frames that were drawn, the first and the last, would be sent to people to draw the in-between frames. You may have heard this called tweening as in in-between. They take the first frame and the end frame, they stack them up and they would draw the in-between frames. Here are the first frame that someone drew is someone waking up. That's frame one. Down the line, we have the person looking like he's going to yawn. At the very end, we have the person with their mouth wide open taking a very big yawn. Those are keyframes in this example. To make the character move from keyframe to the next keyframe to the next keyframe, those would be sent to someone and they would draw those in-between frames showing the movement of the character from one to the next. Again, it's referred to as tweening. You have your keyframe, your tween frames, possibly another keyframe, more tween frames, another keyframe, and so on. So we have the keyframe, someone waking up, right in the middle, someone starting a yawn, and at the end, someone giving a big yawn. So someone draws all the little cartoons in between all those. Along came software and someone got the bright idea to put these keyframes in software. For example, one keyframe at the beginning may be at frame one, then maybe 15 frames down may be the next keyframe, frame say 15, and the software figures out how to go from frame one to frame 15 and do all the frames in between. Here's an example. Let's say I put an object up on the screen and I want to move this object across the screen to the other side. I would put the object on one side and I would make a keyframe there. Now I'm going to move down the timeline later in time and I'm going to drag the object to the other side where I want it. And that will create another keyframe. So if I go to the first keyframe in the timeline and I play what I did, the object will move to the other side automatically. The software figured out all the in-between frames. I'll show you how this is done in a video editor. I move the object to one side of the screen where I want it. I click to make a keyframe there. That's where it starts. Now I drag down the timeline to where it's going to end, say right there. And the software knows that I moved its position so it will create the second keyframe. So now I have a keyframe at the beginning where I want it to start from and moving down the timeline, another keyframe of where I want it to move across the screen to its end. And when I play this, it starts at the beginning, it moves through time across the screen and all the way to the other side, figuring out all the in-between frames all by itself. You can make something move left, you can make something move right, you can make something move up, you can make something move down, you can rotate it, all sorts of variety of movements. I can do the same thing with all sorts of parameters with this clip. I can change the rotation of the object, I could change the size of the object. I could change the opacity of the object. And that's very basic for these keyframes. Position, size, rotation, and actually just about anything for any object, including video. Now the same applies to audio and sound. Let's say I set the beginning volume of the music right about there and put a keyframe there. I move down the timeline a bit and right there, I lower the volume down. Now the software is creating a keyframe at this volume. We have a keyframe at the higher volume and as we move down time, the software automatically figures out how to lower that audio down to the lower volume. Let's have a listen. Next time you listen to a movie, listen to all the audio and the different nuances that you hear in the background going higher and lower. Those are all keyframed. This can get much more complicated. For example, you can tell the program how fast to ramp up the speed 
or how slow to ramp it down. They all use keyframes. I'd appreciate it if you like and share this video. I hope that helps, and thanks for watching. Now what? Outtakes. I am doing what is a keyframe. To make the character move from the regular. So we have the, the keyframes. So we have the keyframes, someone waking up, someone yawning. So we have the keyframes, someone, wait a second. So we have the keyframes, someone waking up. You know, once I heard the doorbell ring and I went down and opened the door, and there was this cop standing there and he said, you're under arrest. And I said, what am I under arrest for? I haven't done anything. And he said, well, we've heard that you've been framing a key. <laughs> that is so bad. You can't even tell it. I can't even say it. It's so bad.